<laughs> hey, Jarg. Alright, guys, welcome back to some X4. Uh, we're just heading back to Amar now. <clears throat> Because for some reason the autopilot wasn't working and I left it run for half an hour and the carrier hadn't moved. So we just cleared that Xenon sector. We nearly lost the Abaddon. We did lose an Oracle. Took a little bit of damage on our other guys. Uh, we're heading back to Ashab actually, really. We've lost a number of miners to the CAC. So I kind of want to have a look around and hold on a minute. There's a find fill tasks. Um, <clears throat> I was going to say I want to have a look around and see if I can find a hive. So I'm wondering, is there one in a Mar space? A pound headache? No worries, dude. Lay down. Hope you feel better later. Might be switching over to something else a little later on. I hope that passes. Everyone hates headaches. Entering system, Amar. Now, while we're here, our magnetars are ready. I'm going to set one up as just a silicon miner. In a mar. I might just set up both of them as silicon miners in a mar, actually. For now. Let them do that. That's going to net us some money. Uh, ideally, we want them providing for our stations, but um, we we'll make some money in the background off that. That's fine. We can switch them over to our stations when we have them fully built. Uh, I will buy a couple more drill for a million. And buy three more. Yeah, look at this. I'm thinking there's definitely a hive around somewhere. In case of finding the damn thing. It's going to be at the edge of a system, and these systems are pretty large. <clears throat> I'm kind of wondering, is it in a shab? Like, to be fair, right, the defense forces are on point, kind of... They're attacking straight away. Did I see it earlier? I think I may, might have seen it in... Um, Gaven. Curious now. I'm gonna send the Abaddon for repairs. One point two million, that's fine. We're gonna let those guys launch now because we're in friendly territory, so they can attack whatever they want. Station start building. Our high tech factory has seven million in its account. Nice. Yeah. 
you actually need that money. Right. Lovely. <coughs> Excuse me. leave the Archon near our fine metals factory. Seems to be a nice hot spot for the CAC. Hmm. Excuse me. take out a nemesis and then go look to the mining spot and help them out. Missile mod, I love the missile mod. Holy crap, they're firing a lot of them. Okay. Yeah, the Archon can hang out around here. They're docked. We'll get a couple uh, more fighters. Very well, once they're docked, we'll jump into Nemesis and go around looking for this hive. That's what I meant to say. Hello there. Hello. Barb, you are very slow. Getting here. All right, move, remove our doors. He's gonna sit there. <clears throat> We're gonna shift D. We'll go to a nemesis. Nemesis Vanguard. Go over a look and see if we can find this thing. For them to be that active, there has to be one nearby, right? There could be a couple of jumps out, which is basically just a Mars space. Maybe unholy retribution. And 
This is gonna play out to like the edges and ping. See if I can see anything on the horizon. Doesn't like looking at the ping. Couple more stations out that way. The Nister, how are you doing? Excuse me. Oh, do you know what I, I meant to do? Because I said I would. Um, Seeing the avatar there kind of reminds me. So I've been asked to look at the other titans in the shipyard view. I can't do that myself in the um, campaign at the moment. I don't have access to all of them. So, we've got the avatar. I'm okay. And I'm just gonna go through them. We'll put just whatever faction stuff on them. So, it's the avatar, we've seen it before. the stats and all that the next one the Erebus right it's the Erebus uh, we'll put blasters on them Galante Galante has its uh, doomsday weapon there's the Erebus. <clears throat> uh, uh, Leviathan? Leviathan and Ragnarok, right? This is the Kaldari. Yeah, I just put. Oh, my mind has a missile launcher there. What happened? That oh, it has three of these. No shielding for that one for some reason. Fair enough. Um, whatever. I'll just leave whatever shielding is on it. It's fine. And then Kaldari has its Doom Damage weapon. And there is the Leviathan. 1.3 million shielding compared to. Hey, DDR Jake, how's it going? Try to get into this game with bounce clean off it, so lurking to learn more. No worries. It's a bit. I suppose if you're used to X3 and that, it is a bit different. I think it's easier to get stuff done here. And then we have the Ragnarok. Hmm. 
Did improve new player experience coming in 7.0. I'm looking forward to the new um, third person camera. I want to see what that's like. Oh, so the Ragnarok has more shielding than everything except the Kaldari. Oh. Like a mega stabber. But yeah, they're the um, four titans. As I said, someone had asked me to look at them. So I don't see, um, I don't think that fits in here. Never mind, there it is, right there. I don't think it's here, I know it's here. an Abaddon attacking an unknown ship. Well, I am going to teleport to my carrier. Like, ooh, I'll get that loot that's on the radar, but that's probably mining materials. Let's go deal with this hive. <laughs> I am curious. Look at all those Abaddons. Abaddon. I'll never say it that way. So many ships I've never seen before. Oh, well, that's thanks to the mods. on my approach. You only get time to poke it vanilla, that's that's fair. My guys are on interception. Do I put these on bombard? Means the nemesis should attack station and then my fighters should only launch to attack uh, the other fighters incoming. Hive guard. I don't know, you know, like that one? Yes. How we doing? We awake? Hmm. Oh, 
me a fight going on. Your beams are no match for mine. deal with that. I'm going to say all the while our fleet should be following us. Abaddon is now fully repaired. And our world are ready as well, so you guys can go mine for that guy. You can mine for the other guy. Four ships mining for that already. Okay. And then our magnetars are doing their thing. Our omen is protecting our station over there. Because it tends to get raided. That fight is over. So we'll reorient on this. And it looks like the Amara are attacking it as well. Or at least scouting it. Yeah, recon. Unknown station. That poor nemesis keeps catching up with us and then we keep moving. Did everyone see the um, Falling Frontiers trailer? Can't wait for that game. It doesn't look like it has any turret complexes outside of the station. This will get funky here in a minute. Environment is not working for me ever. I don't know what it is, but it, it just does not work for me. Anyway, let's get in there. Oh, didn't rearm him.
They're gonna do missile runs, I guess, until they run out of ammo. <clears throat> that is their prerogative. Did they even get in range to fire off their beams before they rotate out? I do not think so. Hmm. Oh, I can see I can see the Abaddon out there. I'm just gonna give him a direct attack order. Just so that he's not um slow boating it into us. I can actually attack that. I tell you what going to grab this group here and you are going to attack the turrets you can see the nemesis getting hit by the turrets um, they're not hugely damaging but that's why I don't want my fighters out there they're just on intercept for the small dudes And we'll have our battleship and cruisers and so on come in and deal with all of those turrets and so on. Be grand. So he docked after everyone else launched on the attack order. So uh, if you deselect the target and then reselect it, he'll go attack. Fighters are launching. Shall murder them. Boom. Very effective. Already, our cruisers and Abaddon are now in range. Abaddon's doing a direct attack, the other guys are taking out turrets. I don't know what you're attacking. Probably going to be better, right? All these the weird attack angles that you need to use here.
It's always been the case that you have to flare around these things and find the, the right angle to attack them. Should. <laughs> Should is the key word in that sentence. Like a lot of things. It's like targeting um, a capital shipyard. Hey, Maki is gone. They should target the structure, but they actually target the center of the module. shouldn't take too long we're down to 24 percent gonna be a big help actually center of the module in the middle of the station components yeah so like um uh there's not one here if you're shooting at that module there <clears throat> A lot of the time your guys will shoot in through there because they're shooting at the central point. Uh, you'll see it a bit when you're attacking people so you have to bring your ship around the side so that they shoot in at the side and hit the thing. There's a few little niggles like that. Or at least there can be. I don't know if that one has been fixed. Or if it's even on the list to be fixed. <clears throat> well, I've noticed like on um, on some structures, depending on the order they have, actually, are we seeing it right now? Well, the missiles are doubling back. They're, see, they're flying through the center. And then they're doubling back and hitting stuff. Yeah, they're actually uh, flying into the center of the structure. <coughs> they just need to put nodes on the. Yeah. See these missiles coming in? no nodes exist yeah well then there's no nodes for a couple of structures but you can see it. we're actually just wasting all our missiles right now sometimes their tracking is bad and they run into a building but they're actually just exploding in the middle of open space because they're locked on to the center of nothing Boom, there it is, done. Simples. That should preserve our mining fleet for a little while. <clears throat>
<coughs> Excuse me. So that's fine. Yeah, you pretty much got all the resources. And you have a builder. <clears throat> you have all the resources you need coming in. Supposedly. And you have a builder. Oh, you've always had that builder. Uh, oh, you need the builder. Did I not assign a builder to this? I was sure that one that we saw is the one I assigned to this. Oh, it doesn't... Never mind. It's finished. Don't mind me. Solar power plant doesn't need anything. We could put a pier on it. I might put a pier on it, actually. That might actually be a good idea. Grand Exchange doesn't need anything except um, <laughs> advanced electronics. Tax Haven doesn't do anything. You don't do anything. And then the Graphene Refinery. Oh, is actually finished? It's finished. Okay. This guy doesn't have a manager yet. I'm gonna stock him up on drones because that's gonna be a contentious area. Uh, you can buy them off whoever you want. Buy them off whoever you want. That'll do fine. And then we need to get you gas miners. Do they should yeah they should just be able to come in here and grab it. Oh sorry, they should be able to grab it anywhere anyway. Nice the Amar are patrolling that area. They should also be patrolling in um, our own systems over here. Is that a cheeky way to get them to expand a bit? Well, not expand a bit, but have their ships kind of reach out into the universe? Because you see they come over and it, um, patrol our areas. Just like that. Um, because we're plus 30 with them. Which is pretty sweet, to be fair. put his uh, thing on. Right. Last day we helped clear out scale plate green so there are no more xenon over there. We could go into Matrix 9. They do have the capital ships in there. I presume there's a shipyard in 451, right?
Just presuming that. Hey, Divine Dare, how are you doing? Not Excel. The Omen has been doing pretty well for us. 10 million for that with the multi frequency beams. We're not going multi frequency. So 9.8 million per, roughly. Yeah, doing good. Doing good. It is Thursday today. Uh, it's St. Patrick's weekend, so it's a bank holiday here. So looking forward to that. Uh, we might we'll probably start Kenshi Star Wars run the weekend. said the beam noise stuck on loop for a minute. <laughs> Was it auto-saving? Yes, I did see the Falling Frontier trailer. Give us a release date, goddammit. <laughs> Put us out of our misery. Yeah, I linked it in the Discord as well. Um, but yeah. It's looking very good. I was saying uh, it it makes me want to go back and play a Nexus to Jupiter incident. Might do that at the weekend. Ooh, might do that at the weekend. As we were discussing it the other day, I was... so unfortunate that that uh, they never made Imperium Galactica 3. But that's how we got the, the next uh, Jupiter ne Nexus to Jupiter incident. But man, Imperium Galactica 3, I was so excited for that game when I saw the announced trailers. Ah, you're going to come in from there. Ooh. Oh, that's not bad. We could do that. Maybe we hit Matrix 451 next. You hope they finish the game? Oh, they will. I, yeah, they will. They have a hooded horse backing them. And a hooded horse. Hold on, let me open up Steam. Uh... Hooded Horse. That's 41 games. Hooded Horse. Oh, hold on. Did they do Nessus? They've quickly become one of my favorite publishers. Look at that. Nessus, Manor Lords, Against the Storm, Menace. I'm looking forward to Menace too. Alliance of the Sacred Sun. Uh, not really. I don't know. Sons of Valhalla is fun. Like Nebulous Fleet Command, Workers and Resources, and Birds of the Undergrowth is fun as well. But they do Xenonauts as well. Terra Invicta, I was kind of hoping I'd be more interested in that. And then like upcoming releases, Falling Frontier. Norland is good. Breachway is a bit of fun. Day to Day, um, I think I saw a little bit of that. They're doing Capital Command as well. Fragile Existence. 
Yeah, hooded horse. Games are never finished. Very true. But yeah, I, I'm I'm very interested in a lot of things the hooded horse are doing are involved with. Very interested. Um, how many fighters have I got? I've got eight fighters on board. We have four nemesis. We have the Abaddon, two omens, and an oracle. I could bring over another omen. As if we are going to like hit a system again. We don't have enough space systems. We don't have enough good space systems. I think the development on Space Rain has slowed down a good bit from what they um they were planning, I think, but um that's fun. You only need X4, there is no space other space sim? Ah. Yeah. Uh, I never never be tied into one game. Sport does a lot of things really well, but it does a lot of things really badly. Same with every other game. It's going to be different experiences. Entering system, Amara. You might be slightly biased. Slightly. It seems. do at least is move the Archon over towards this gate. You've all taken a little bit of damage. Data Vault there. He's going to pop down here and then go into the Matrix. Trying to get into Terra Victor. Yeah, it didn't catch me. Um, I was hoping it would. Uh, not for me. All right, we need managers. That is no problem. Uh, we've got to be careful coming through here. We don't want to attack the Minmatar. I know it's a terrible thing to say, but... Don't want to piss off uh, all of these ships. Oh, they're in here. Oh, that's actually pretty good. They have a fleet in here. This is really good for us. Hold on. Also, are they? Oh, there is a straight path through. Okay. This might not be as bad as I thought it was going to be then. We can do something here. We can clean out this sec sector. 
and then let the CAC and the uh, split fight over it. No problem. Defense station. We can get in and do some visual scanning. Don't see any capitals. Interesting. Entering system, Hadian. Armature done. 